you guys. I am so sweaty. It's not even funny. I'm like not fit for public consumption. Oh my god, it's running away. It's running away. I want to film this cow for you. Look at the Thai cow. Oh, it's moving. It's moving for you. It's really cute. Look at its little horns. Oh my god, maybe it's kind of vicious. Aww. Hi, Thai Moo Moo. <laughs> it's like following us. <laughs> um, anyway, so we just got back from the little town, if you can call it that, in Koh Lanta. And I had a mojito and then got convinced by Chris that diving should be the way I decide to end my days. Um, so we went ahead and booked a dive, so that should be interesting in like two days. So like the day after tomorrow, our last day in Koh Lanta, I am going diving like with tanks and everything so I understand that you guys may witness some of that in this vlog so stay tuned for that and at the moment we are just going back to our resort here in Colenta to enjoy the sunset if you thought the previous cow is cute look at that look at the little veal baby cow thing behind it they're so cute I feel slightly apprehensive though because like they're pretty much off leash. Like that one has just totally yanked its yanked its leash away. You know, munching on the grass. So cute. All right, so we are here at Mushroom Cafe. Yeah, just it's like on the gravel path outside of our hotel, and um, we got some vegetable tempura here, pad thai, which will be my first pad thai in Thailand, right? Yeah. Um, and then Chris got masaman curry with rice. I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like around us. It's like kind of jungle. And then we're in this kind of hut. And I gotta show you these posters. Okay, first of all, look at the um, fan thing with the neon lights. And then we have a collection of posters including angels kissing each other, random eagle, random photos of food, some houses, babies with jellyfish on their heads, a BLT, a burger, and something with brown stuff on it. I don't know what that is. Is it a pancake? Oh, like a chocolate pancake? Yeah, that's why I might have. But the rest of the food is savory, so it's confusing. Anyway, very, very random. Good morning, everyone. So here we are, still in Koh Lanta. This is now our second and uh, second to last day here. I can't even think properly. We're leaving tomorrow, basically. Um, and today we have a full pack day because we're actually doing a boat tour which goes to four different places and I didn't book it, Chris did, so I have no more interesting information for you but I will take you along with me and show you all of it and then when we get back here I'll show you our cool little bungalow here and how um, just sort of neat it is but I'll show you the view from here so you can kind of get a little sneak preview little bungalows and the car is waiting for us so I gotta go. So here we are on Long Beach and apparently we're on boat triple nine and I don't know if they call you over but basically there's just like lots of groups departing from here. And there's a bunch of resorts over there. We were actually at that one yesterday for a drink I think. Um, and yeah it's really pretty here. I'm kind of scared about this whole cave thing because you have to swim into a cave. And I'm thinking it's going to be like some kind of Indiana Jones disaster, but it sounds beautiful, right? Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Big boulder rolling up. Perfect. Just what you want on vacation. And here's our boat, number 999 docking. So you're going to it looks nice and shady, actually. Pretty much all of it is shady, which is good. Well, snorkeling there, and I don't know if you guys can see. There were like little angelfish in the water earlier. It's kind of hard because my camera's not waterproof, but um, yeah, it does look like there's some life in there, which is both concerning and exciting. So, L1 Sharks Zero so far. Uh, we're still at the unnamed snorkeling area. Just got out of the water. Chris did a little snorkeling. I swam. Not much of a snorkeler. 
So we've just taken shelter from the burning hot sun in this little like wooden shed thing. Um, not really sure where we are, but we docked here for lunch. Crocodile Island. Crocodile Island? Chris has convinced us what it's called. I still feel like he's pulling my leg, but anyway. No, he's saying no. Um, so we're at Crocodile Island and uh, yeah, we stopped here for lunch and we had some chicken wings and rice, which was kind of random but good. And I think we're going to head off soon to our last stop, which must be the case, unless we have two more stops. Emerald Cave. Does this count as a stop? It probably does. So, yeah. So, Emerald Cave is our last stop, so we'll see what that's like. And I just wanted to show you the view, because it's quite pretty. The beautiful, like, turquoise ocean and islands over there. And that's our boat, as you guys know, triple nine. And there's like a whole bunch of party boats over there that are making lots of noise. Alright, so we made it to the Emerald Caves, or the other side of the Emerald Caves. It is so crazy here. It's like, I don't know, a thousand people swimming through a narrow tunnel holding on to each other for dear life. Um, I didn't know what this was going to be like. It's so nuts that this is like legally allowed, but anyway. It is beautiful down there, and believe it or not, if you can see that, narrow triangular hole we just came through there and they basically put your camera in a dry bag and drag it along on an inflatable and then you get here you take your camera you film yourself and you do it all over again except this time you actually know what to expect <laughs> I just got back from the boat trip. Chris is out at the ATM and I thought we would have a little tour together of our little bungalow which is in Koh Lanta at a resort called Lazy Days. You can see the whole thing is made from bamboo which is really cool. Um, and I think this is the only bungalow that's like a standalone structure that we've booked for the holiday So I wanted to show you what it looks like. It's very rustic here. It makes being glamorous pretty difficult We've been here for two days now, so that's why my stuff is everywhere There's a mosquito net because basically none of this is entirely solid like bugs could get through everything is made from bamboo even the curtain parts are bamboo it's so crazy um very cool very poor air conditioning though i can barely feel like a cool breeze from it so it's been kind of a little more difficult to sleep here um but the bathroom is cool too i spread out all my beauty products here sorry guys um there's like a rain shower which is nice and then just like this area to kind of take a shower in and other that, than that it's like all pretty functional hello I really have nothing exciting to say other than look at that sky. It's like pomegranate. It is so gorgeous. To this day, when I'm recording this voiceover, I cannot believe I did something that is so terrifying to me and enjoyed it. So here I am in a place called Kobita off the coast of Koh Lanta having my very first discovery dive. So in case you're wondering what discovery dive means, it basically means you're not certified, so you need to cover the basic skills in a short amount of time and then be accompanied and supervised at all times during your dive. It's basically the first step to getting certified and a nice way to find out if you actually want to spend the time and money to do that, if diving is indeed for you. I really surprised myself during this adventure and I can't believe I managed to conquer all of the tests that she wanted me to do including taking out my regulator which means you have no supply of air you're voluntarily like taking that away from yourself and it's so scary but somehow it all works out and you feel a sense of incredible peace underwater as you just saw in that particular shot there were a thousand and one unis or sea urchins everywhere which just means me hungry because they are so delicious but other than that I just was astounded by the beauty of everything underwater it's just like a jungle out there but it's a really peaceful sounding one it really isn't as scary as I thought it would be although having to jump off the boat here is pretty daunting and you can see me hesitating and then getting a pretty firm shove from the boating attendant which I really did need um, somehow you feel so weighed down by all of this equipment which weighs like a thousand pounds 
and then what you do is you're on the line and that's where you do most of your tests including taking out your regulator so here I am doing that letting some water into my mask all of which is very terrifying and the sensation of learning to breathe um, through the regulator is kind of unusual and strange and uncomfortable but you somehow manage to get through it so that you can go and explore everything around you and see it up close. I was really lucky I had a really patient and confident seeming instructor that really put me at ease. And just there if you managed to catch it, that was my first sight of clamfish underwater. So I got to see lots of Nemo's which was super cute. Here I am swimming not so gracefully. Those are linefish which are super poisonous but it was actually a very lucky and unusual thing that we managed to see them swimming which I really enjoyed. Uh, my boyfriend's been diving for years and he's actually only ever seen them kind of at best and chilling out but I saw some, saw some that were having their active day. Here I am showing everyone how chilled out I'm feeling which is I think quite surprising to even my instructor who thought I would chicken out. And there you go at the very end, that is my boyfriend's grand debut, because you can totally see what he looks like underwater, right? But he was totally happy to show you guys what he looks like underwater because he loves diving so much and he was so excited that I tried it. So I'm glad I went for it, it's always amazing to conquer your fears, and I encourage you guys to do it if you have the opportunity to. Diving was something I really enjoyed doing on vacation. Here I am being pulled out of the water like a wet rat, and then moving on to my next adventure. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!